Here we are at Fab Speed Motorsports USA, the leader in exotic car performance uh, worldwide. And this quick video is going to explain to you our new products for the Lamborghini LP564 cars from 2009 plus, and also give you a little information on what Fab Speed Motorsport USA does to deliver the best performance products for Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Bentley, and other exotic cars. When you own an Italian car or a German car, you do not need to go back to the country of original manufacturing to get a good exhaust or proper performance products. You get it right here in the United States. None of the other manufacturers or anybody ever gives you this kind of dedication or performance. Anyway, here on the floor is the factory muffler for the LP564. This is a 64.80 pound boat anchor, 29.46 kilograms. The factory headers have catalytic converters, but there's a set of redundant catalytic converters inside this muffler. You can actually see them in there. Joey, can you get them? I got them. All right. So we've x-rayed this muffler. Done. Uh, we know what's going on in there. This is a heavy muffler from the factory. It's got these restrictive valves that shut the exhaust off so it only breathes through a two-inch pipe. Anyway, this is what the factory did on all LP564s worldwide. Fabstreet built four different mufflers for this car, worked on different designs, proved it on the dyno, proved it on the sound on the street and driving. Here, for instance, is a two and a half inch system, 63.5 millimeters. We mandrel bent this up on our $400,000 uh, electric bender from England. We first built one with these bends, and then we didn't tie the tubes together, ran on the dyno, it lost a lot of power. Then we put it together with an X. Car made some more power, more than this for sure, but ultimately we went to 70 millimeter, two and three quarter inch tubing. This is the proper size to maximize horsepower in a Lamborghini LP564 V10 car. Uh, CNC machine flanges, a resonator here, which is a straight through design, you can see it over there and gussets, a little window between these two sides. That ties the engine together, maximize horsepower and torque, gives you volumetric efficiency. And then another resonator there, and then the outlet pipes. Our system here from Fastbeat saves 45 pounds compared to stock, so it takes a ton of weight off the back of the car. And our system, which we tested on our Dynojet that has an automated weather station. So that automated weather station takes barometric pressure, relative humidity, and temperature, automatically takes it. You cannot mess with the fig figures. And at 3,200 RPMs, the car made 30.67 foot-pounds of torque over stock, 18.98 horsepower. And you can see the spread between the two graphs. That means it made power and torque across the RPM band. Now if we go up to 6,200 RPMs, 14.71 horsepower and 12.57 foot-pounds of torque. So our system saved a ton of weight off the back of the car and made horsepower and sound. It's not too loud. It doesn't drone. Easy to install. And this customer, uh, it fits underneath the factory heat shield, but just to let you know how cool it looks, uh, this, this customer is going to elect to put it back on the car so you can actually see it. Kind of like a Ferrari, uh, you know, 360 with the challenge grill. You can actually let it vent through the back and all, and it's dynamite. Dyno proven, dyno developed, 100% state of art, made in the United States of America.